Now let's see how this elimination method works. Um, it doesn't use substitution. All it uses is the properties of equality, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, and it has the same premise though. You're going to combine the two equations into one equation in one variable. So I'm gonna use this example. This example is uh, what I like to call elimination ready, meaning um, I just have to go ahead, I don't have to manipulate any of the equations, I can just sort of add them together. So I'm gonna start with, um, whoopsie, two x, sorry, two x plus y equals seven, the first equation. And I wanna add something to both sides of the equation. Now. On the left side, I'm going to add 3x minus y, okay? Now, what the properties of equality tell me is I have to add the same quantity to both sides, but in this case, I know that 3x minus y also happens to equal eight. So instead of adding 3x minus y to the right side, I'm going to add eight. And so now, when I add things up, I get 2x plus 3x, which is 5x y plus negative y, which is no more y's, and seven plus eight, which is 15. And so then I get five x equals 15, and then I just get x equals three. Well, it just so happens that that x equals three, that three um, is half of my solution to my system. And so then I gotta go back and find uh, y, so I'm gonna take the first equation, two times three plus y equals seven, six plus y equals seven, which means y has to equal one. Now, if this is actually the solution to my system, I can check it and verify. Um, it looks like the answer is going to be 3 comma 1. And I know 3 comma 1 works with the first equation, so now I need to check it with the second one. So 3 times 3 minus 1, is that equal to 8? And yes, it is. So that means my solution is indeed the point 3 comma 1. And that's how elimination works. All you're gonna do is you're gonna add the two equations so one of the variables drops off. Now it's your turn to try uh, the elimination method. Uh, I want you to solve the system 6x minus 2y equals eight and 4x plus 2y equals six using elimination. So now let's go ahead and try to solve this system via elimination. Now you notice the examples that we do an elimination and the ones that I have you do are all in standard form and that's because elimination was really made for standard form. Uh, you basically need no parentheses, no grouping symbols, equations that are of the exact same form. So either two um, that are in standard form or two that are in slope intercept, no point slope. Because remember, your goal is to just add the equations together in such a way that the variables drop off. That means they have to line up. So if you have a standard form and then a slope intercept, it's not gonna work. Now if I look at this one, if I just add the two equations, uh, nothing goes away. I get eight X minus 11 Y equals 36, and I still have two variables, which is not cool. So what I have to do is I have to use multiplication to change the coefficients of the equation so that when I add a variable does go away. And I just have to pick whichever variable I want. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick X. You can pick Y if you want, but I'm gonna pick X. And so I see one of the coefficients of X is five, the other one is three, and so I'm gonna multiply both equations to make the coefficients opposites of each other. So I'm gonna multiply the top equation by three and the bottom equation by negative five. And let's see what happens when I do that. So three times five x is 15 x, three times negative six is minus 18 y, and three times 12 is 36. And then I multiply the second equation by negative five, which gives me negative 15 x, and then a positive 25 y, and that equals to, I think, 120? Double check, ah. 24 times five is 120, yes. So then I get a negative 120. And so now notice that the coefficients of the x's are opposites. So when I add these two equations together, the x's are gone, and then 25 minus 18 is seven. So I have a seven y, and negative 120, minus, uh, or adding a 36 to that gives me a negative 84. And then I divide both sides by seven. And so then I get y equals negative 12, right? 
Now you can do this just as easily for the y variable. You can go ahead and eliminate again, actually, if you wanted to, to get rid of y. And I'll show you that you can do that uh, in a different color. So um, if you want to, you can just go ahead and plug in y equals negative 12 into one of those equations and solve for x. But I'm going to show you that you can eliminate twice to get the y variable. So I have the same equations, 5x minus 6y equals 12 and 3x minus 5y equals 24. This time I want to get rid of the y. And so to get rid of the y, I multiply the top one by 5 and the bottom one by negative 6. This gives me 25x minus 30y equals 60. And it gives me negative 18x plus 30y equals um, 24 times 6 is 144, and it's a negative 144. I've got to watch the signs there. And so then these are gone now. I am left with the 7x equals negative uh, 84, and then divide both sides by 7. I get x equals negative 12. Now, I want to double check to make sure my solution is negative 12, negative 12, and I do that by taking the original equations and plugging in the numbers negative 12 and negative 12. So 5 times negative 12 minus 6 times negative 12 better equal 12. And it does. And then 3 times negative 12 minus 5 times negative 12 better equal 24. And it does. So therefore, this answer has been checked and verified. And my solution is this. Now, honestly, if you're given two equations in standard form and asked to solve by elimination, this is as bad as it gets. Now, it's your turn to try one example like this where you have to do a multiplication to be able to actually eliminate a variable. Um, so solve the system 3x minus 4y equals 14, 2x plus 2y equals 21 by elimination. Now it's time to see what the special cases look like when you're solving by elimination. And remember the special cases for systems of equations are parallel lines or lines that are the same. So this first example, I have um, 2x plus 3y equals 12 and negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 36. And if I want to solve it by elimination, I can multiply that top equation by 2 and I end up with 4x plus 6y equals 24, and then when I add them together, the top equation that's been transformed in the bottom equation, I get um, 0 plus 0 equals negative 12. And so last time I checked, 0 is not equal to negative 12. And so when I interpret something like that, that means there's no solution. And it's because the lines were parallel. Okay. Now, there's actually a special trick. Now, if you notice that the second equation was not simplified and you went ahead and simplified it, um, it's going to look a certain way. So the first equation is 2x plus 3y equals 12. And notice that the second equation, I can divide out a negative 2 out of each of those. And I end up getting a 2x plus a 3y equals an 18. Well, when it comes to standard form, if the a and the b are the same and the c's are different, that means you're going to get parallel lines every single time. So that's the, the special trick. And the reason why we like simplified standard form is um, if I recognize that I need to put an equation in simplified standard form, then I can figure out if they're parallel really easily. Uh, now, look at the second example. It's the other special case, which obviously means it's going to be the same line because there are only two special cases. And if I look at the second equation, I'm like, dude, that's not simplified either because I can divide all of those by 4. And I get 7x minus 3y equals 30. And so that's the same line. So, and if I went and I did the elimination method because I didn't recognize that, I'd end up with um, 0 equals 0 in the process of solving, and which gives me same line. And so I write my answer in solution set notation if I have the space for it. And I do. Uh, 7x minus 3y equals 30 my equation. And so that's um, how what the special cases look like.